Hey everyone, Craig Ball here. Hope you're well. Today we get into the fourth and final video of our series on signs you might be a people pleaser and what to do about it. Now you've already, we've already covered off on people pleasing as a habit and why it can hold you back, lead to a lot of unhappiness. So the, the why is already there and we all know the deep negative uh, connotations and the consequences of that. However, the one we haven't covered off on today, the sign, and there's a lot more of them, but these are four pretty critical ones I think that we've covered off on, including today's, is inability to say no. Inability to say no to things and people can lead you to being completely overwhelmed and overloaded. Now, we tend to do this because we can find ourselves a bit intimidated by others and we you know, we're not really, haven't really owned our space, we haven't really asserted ourselves well. So part of assertiveness and a lot of assertiveness training, which if you like this video, I highly recommend you have a look at some assertiveness training if you feel it may be you, is about saying no. And there's many ways to say no. You can say no respectfully. You can thank people, thank you, but no, or thank you, but I'm unable to do that, or, or whatever that is. The problem is, and what it, what it can stem from for many people, is that they're afraid to say no because they feel saying no may have some impact on how, how the other people feel. So that's right. They naively think that they actually control how other people feel. Now, let's get back. Let's think about that for a minute. What you actually can control versus what you can't, which was titled a really good book by Martin Seligman in the 80s, but I'm not here to, to discuss that book. There are only four things you can control. What you say, what you do, what you think, and what you feel. That is it. You have maybe some influence over how other people feel but you can't control it at a deeper level. All you can do is help control how you feel. So it's important for you to sometimes put yourself a little bit first. If you, even if you you know walk into the water, if you're a little bit unlikely to be, you know, if you're a bit reticent to step forward and support yourself or to be assertive. And get into the habit of starting to say no and then wait. You may want to put some words around it, it makes you feel a bit better but start by saying no. Take a Take a moment to, to assess something when someone asks you a question and decide, or a request for your time or whatever, and decide for yourself, is it a benefit to you? If it's not, that should be your red flag and start saying no. The great thing about this and the great thing about a lot of habits, the more you do it, the easier it will become. Okay, so be wary of the fact. Are you saying yes too much? Are other people accusing you of people pleasing or being a yes person? Then start saying no. Of course, we don't say no to things that may, we think may be of benefit or you know of use to us, but start saying no to the things that you don't think are. No doubt there'll be plenty of them. Hope that helps. Don't be a people pleaser.